innocent bystander. Torn from his dinner and imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. Needlessly recruited for a top secret federal investigation. Kidnapped and required to cross over into enemy territory. In order to survive, you'll need to be quick, romantic, and fast. This summer, forget about everything you learned in school and focus on the fleecing. All right, folks, we'll be back in a few minutes with more from Marvelous Dave Astray. All right, all right. This interview is over, Mr. Stray. Let's get you out of here. Wait a minute. Hey, we're in the middle of a show here. I don't care if you're in the middle of an emergency appendectomy. Mr. Stray is finished. I wish. Mr. Stray, don't say another word. Do not forget, sir, you are contractually bound. Hey, what's going on here? I'm miserable is what's going on. You know, I thought I had everything I, I needed in life, and I'm miserable. Uh, it's it, it's never satisfying. It seems like it's never enough. Why? I mean, you're rich, you're popular, everybody loves your show. Yeah, they love my show, but they don't love me. They don't even know me. Sure, the, the money is great. I have a lot of people in my life, but they love the money, not me. I'm surrounded by admirers, but none of them are looking at me. We're back on in five. We're back with marvelous Dave Astray, who's been very candid about his current state of emotional affairs. It's a nice way of saying that I was whining. <laughs> I, I guess you're right. Well, you know, Dave, if, if what you told me is true during the break, you know, about how unhappy you are and, and how you're feeling, maybe you could pinpoint the cause. Well, I could pinpoint the cause. I'm the cause. I felt this way ever since I left the Shepherd. She you mean Mr. Shepherd, the, the, the director, the producer of We Like Sheep? Yeah, and the guy who discovered me. When I met him, I was working part time as a dental hygienist. I heard his voice over the cacophony of rinsing, swishing, and spitting. I remember I took off my paper bib. I never looked back. Well, if life with the shepherd is so great, why don't you go back? Are you kidding? I can't go back. I used him to get to where I am now. I trampled his work. I ignored his instructions. I mean, half of my show is basically his material reworked so that it seems slightly original. Without him, I'm nothing. A, a nobody. No, I can't go back. I rejected him. I spit in his face. You know, he wouldn't even want me back anyway. The flock, they wouldn't want me back. It can't hurt to try, can it? Yes, yes it can. It can hurt to try. I'm not going back because it would hurt too much to try and to be rejected. So what are you gonna do? I guess keep on trying to make it on my own. Of course, now that I cried like a baby on national TV, probably destroyed most of my fan base. I don't know. Maybe I just don't have enough money yet. Maybe if I get a little bit more money, then I'd be happy. I don't know, we'll see. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time and I'd like to thank my guest, Marvelous Dave Estrang. Hey, go see the fleecing, it's gonna be amazing. Good night, everyone. So I said to the highway patrolman, if that's your idea of interstate commerce, let me put your theory of economics on the truck scale. <laughs> or send it up for an interdepartmental review. Well, I'm Barry Potts. You've been an amazing audience. Have a great night. Okay, up next, marvelous Dave Stray if he can finish sweeping up the peanut shells. Now seriously, everybody stick around. Okay, Ashtray, you got one last shot. You're a lousy janitor and a worse comedian. Now I've been stringing you along for the last couple of months because I used to like your show. I don't know what I was thinking. 
but enough is enough. Now you get up there, do your bit, keep it short, and then after that, you're fired. Listen, Mr. Fur, I can do better, all right? I can. I just need a little bit more time, all right? I, I got nowhere else to go. What's the matter with you, Davey? You're pathetic. You had everything, and now you're here groveling to me for a lousy job mopping up puke. You got 30 minutes. Then, get lost. I got lost. Now, folks, our next comedian used to be a big shot, but now he's a small pill. You get it? Shot, pill, they're both medicine. Anyway, he blew all his money, got fired by his management team, and single-handedly kamikazed his career. Oh, and you might remember that he uh, spent a month in jail for repeatedly biting a clown at a children's party. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct privilege to introduce uh, Marginal Dave Astray. The best ever. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Rich. Thanks a lot. Hey, and just to be fair, that clown did have birthday cake on his arm. So uh, just want to make that clear. No, no, but seriously, it's great to be here tonight. Uh, how about that weather, huh? Sure is cold out there. <laughs> no. Nope. I mean, don't worry about me. I got central bleeding. <laughs> Stupidest thing I ever heard. Oh, relax, seriously. relax, relax. Seriously. Just do what I do when I want to relax. Go to the nearest bar. You're better at sweeping. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, things are much nicer here in America than they are overseas, am I right? No. Well, no, no, it's true. My grandmother used to tell me stories about how it was in the old country, you know? And, uh, and she, she used to tell me how, how long it took her for her and my grandfather to get from there to here. You know why? She's a liar. They had to take, they had to take a U-boat. <laughs> a U-boat. No, like E-W-E-U. Yes. <laughs> what did the clone sheep say to her mother? Spell more words. I am you. Spell it. <laughs> what? Hey, it was like the sheep. Uh, baby sheep. You probably think I'm taking advantage of you because uh, I'm a sheep telling sheep jokes. I promise I am no ab user. This is the worst thing I've ever heard. I want to fight. Wow. Break. Wow. Wow. You guys are. You're really cutting me down. I can fight you. Reminds me of the last time I was at the Baba. That's it. That was a close save, if you know what I mean. You're still uh, very hairy. Hey, uh, what do you call a sheep without arms, legs, or a head? Funnier. A cloud. And you, I mean. It's, e it's called a cloud. <laughs> yeah, with that. Oh. This is ridiculous. What do you, what do you call sheep that live together? Furry roommates. <laughs> uh, Pen pals. Pen pals. Sad. What is that? What are you doing here? I'm here to see you. Why? Oh, this place is dumb. Okay, why don't you step off stage there? Okay, folks, we're really. Why are you here? My material. It's horrible. <laughs> You're telling me. I've had to sit through those lousy jokes probably 60 times at least. You seen my act? You've been here before? Of course. Here and when you were at the funny farm before they sent you up. Davey, I've seen all your performances. I haven't missed one. Haven't you seen me in the crowd? 